Hello Predator fans, Nanny D here, back, back straight from the cinema. I just watched the Predator movie, the new Predator movie, and uh, a lot of you guys uh, requested a little, you know, review or to share my opinion, so here we go. Um, boy, it's a lot of things and stuff to, to sink in and to think about it. Uh, I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. Um, you the, the most of you who follow me on Instagram or YouTube on Facebook, you know I'm a big Predator fan. I, I collect Predator stuff and I've been a fan since day one, since uh, the very first movie, 87, uh, was released. And um, I, I loved every movie so far, um, even though AVP... Navy PR, you know, wasn't that good, but I still loved it. You know, they, they had their thing. And um, I was anticipating a new Predator movie for such a long time. When I, when I learned that Shane Black, who was an original cast member of the first movie, and who is, by the way, an awesome director, in my opinion, because he released a lot of cool movies, my expectations were so high and uh, I was looking so forward to see this new movie because to me it was a perfect match. But then when the first images leaked and, and the story um, parts leaked, I knew this is not going to be the Predator movie that I wanted to see. But, you know, as a Predator fan, I'll give it a chance. And I will say this. If you go watch this movie and consider it as a <clears throat> standalone movie, it's a great, entertaining, fun action movie. I really had a lot of fun. It wasn't boring at all. It was really, really cool. I'd give it an 8, even a 9 out of 10 for what it is as a standalone movie. But, and there is a big but, and I'm not talking about my butt. Oh, if you start digging in a little bit deeper into all these plot holes, which can be found throughout the entire movie, oh man, it really, it's, it's just nonsense. It's just pure stupidity. You know, I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna mention a few details of the movie, so if you, ha if you haven't watched the movie yet and you don't want to hear any spoilers, turn it off. Um, the basic storyline is there's like this predator called the Fugitive Predator who is on the run, headed towards Earth, um, followed or chased by this big assassin predator whose mission is to recover and kill or to kill the fugitive predator and recover the weapon that he's stolen. Now that weapon is literally an Iron Man predator suit built by the predators for humans to protect themselves against predators and kill predators. So wait a minute, I'm always like, what the fuck? So why would predators build a suit for humans like a protection suit um, and, and like a killing suit why what for it doesn't make sense and then you think like okay if, if maybe that's a good predator you know he built it because he wants to protect the humans from the other bad predators so you think of he's a good predator so he's gonna you know team up with humans but no they capture him and then all hell breaks loose and he kills all the humans so He's bringing like a protective weapon to humans, but he still kills humans. It just doesn't make sense. And then there is like, they say they invested $1 billion in a science lab to, you know, unlock and, and learn the Predator's technology, you know, from all the weapons that were uh, recovered in, in the other movies. And they couldn't figure out shit. And then they're this little autistic guy or you know boy shows up who cracks all the codes and everything in five minutes <laughs> it's like, oh, okay 
and, and then there is these predator dogs who are you know kind of cool but yeah whatever so that this assassin predator brings his predator dogs with him you know who are chasing humans and one of the dogs gets shot and killed and the other dog gets shot to the head but he's only wounded and then all of a sudden because of the shot he turns into a human friendly dog so he's now the human's best friend and he's following um, the humans wherever they go and, and you know he's like a puppy and why it just doesn't make sense man oh man I, I could go on on and on with, with more of, of stupid things like this you know but you know what I I don't even want to talk about it it's just a big mess and like I said as a standalone movie, as an action movie by itself, it's it's great entertainment. It's fun. It's not boring at all. It has all a very, um, yeah. It's it's just entertaining. I, I, that's all I can say. But if you refer it to the other movies from the franchise and and you try to understand the whole lore and then the plot. It's it's just it's just nonsense, man. I mean, Shane Black killed it for me. He killed it, and if they really consider making a sequel, a second movie, I don't think I'm gonna watch it because to me it just doesn't make sense anymore. So yeah, these are my two cents about the movie, and uh, like I said, I have to let it sink in first. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I'm tired, and. Uh, We'll see how I think about it tomorrow, but that's my two cents for now. See you around. Bye-bye.